Independence Day, the 4th of July, is just a few days away here in the States, and there's no better time to make firecracker chicken legs. Yes, firecracker chicken legs. That's what I'm making today. If you've ever had buffalo wings, this is the chicken leg equivalent. And the recipe couldn't be simpler. I'm gonna give you the ingredients that I use. You can change them up. You can add more heat, less heat, a different sauce, different spices, whatever you want. This is sort of a basic method and basic recipe on how to make these seasoned, flavored chicken legs that are gonna go on the grill and come out just a little hot, but incredibly flavorful. We're gonna start first with a base flavor, a sort of marinade that's gonna go on the chicken legs before they go on the grill. The hot sauce that goes on after they've been on the grill for a while, that comes later. The ingredients for this base layer of flavor are simple. There's a half teaspoon of cayenne pepper, a half teaspoon of ground black pepper, a teaspoon of paprika, and a tablespoon of garlic powder. We're gonna add a little bit of olive oil when we mix that together so it coats the chicken legs. Let's get our spices in here, our cayenne, our black pepper, our paprika, our garlic powder. We're gonna add a little bit of olive oil, maybe two or three tablespoons. We're gonna just mix that up. And if we need to add more olive oil, we can. This is just sort of that slurry we're getting to start with. See, we've got a nice little slurry there. So now we're just gonna add our chicken legs and mix them up. I've found the best way to do this is with your hands, and the best way to do it with your hands is with gloved hands. So we're just gonna work these all around. Get a good coating on every chicken leg. Ooh, got some good spicy smell coming off there already with that cayenne. Nice color too. And this is before we even get any sauce on them. So these are gonna be a bit spicy. So remember, you can adjust the temperature. Less cayenne, no cayenne, put something else in there. Some chipotle chili powder. Did you notice I said chipotle, not chipotle? Like I've been reminded so many times. Chipotle. But I like the cayenne on these. Our chicken legs are ready. We're gonna set those in the refrigerator for probably about just 30 minutes just to absorb some of that flavor while the grill gets hot. All right, our grill is ready. As you can see, I've got the Weber kettle set up with the Vortex accessory in the center. That way we can put the chicken legs all the way around it and we'll get a great indirect heat with the cover on. That heat will just shoot up to the top, come back down from the kettle lid. Uh, really cooks chicken well. I've done this many times. Let's get our chicken on here. And these are just plain old chicken legs from the store. Nothing special about them. We're gonna cook these for about 20 minutes before we check them for temperature. Once we check them for temperature, if they're getting close, we'll toss them in our sauce and butter mixture and get them back on the grill for a few minutes to finish off. And I can tell you that vortex is screaming hot. Let's get our lid on and let them get cooking. Okay, we're right at about 20 minutes. We're gonna give these a check for temperature. Oh, those look good. Let's see how we're doing for temperature here. Perfect, we're right about 150. Wanna get these in the sauce now so we can get them back on and finish them off. So earlier I melted a stick of butter right over the coals. We're just gonna add that to our bowl here. And for the hot part of the hot sauce, I'm gonna be using this Red Rooster Louisiana hot sauce. So I'm gonna add I don't know, maybe quarter cup, half a cup in there. Now I'm just gonna add the chicken legs. Just gonna mix this up and get this coated all over these. Get this hot sauce slathered all over them. Now we're gonna get them back on the grill for a few minutes to finish off. All right, I'm gonna put the lid on and we'll check these in about five minutes. Okay, we've had our extra little five minutes here. And oh, those are looking good. 
Now, if you want to add some more color to them, just do a little quick grilling right over the coals. All right, we got some good grill color on those. Let's get them off, give them a taste. So there are our finished firecracker chicken legs. And I can tell you from the smell coming off them, there is some Scoville units in the air. So I'm ready to taste these. Okay, I've got my beverage handy. I've got a fire extinguisher handy, but I'm ready to go. There we go. Look at that. Good color. Oh, here we go. <laughs> There's a little bit of heat there. Oh, but boy, that's good. I love that vortex. It puts out such heat. It cooks quickly, especially with chicken, and gets the outside a nice crispiness. Mm. Now, the heat on this is not overpowering. There is heat there. I could have gone a lot hotter. Uh, one of the recipes I was looking at called for two teaspoons of cayenne pepper. That's four times what I put in. So I wanted it hot, but not disastrously hot. Other people are gonna be eating these besides me. Mm. I'm actually not a fan of super hot chicken wings or legs. I usually order them medium if we're going out somewhere and getting them. I like the heat, but I also like the flavor. I don't want my mouth on fire. <sighs> Do need a drink though. Oh. So the total cook time on those was just over 25 minutes. Prep time, maybe 15 minutes, half an hour in the refrigerator. So in just over an hour, you have some really tasty firecracker chicken legs. These are a perfect summer food. Mm. I hope you enjoyed this video. Feel free to check out some of the other videos on my channel and consider subscribing. And if you do, click that bell for notifications. Thank you all for watching. Hope you have a great evening. I'll see you again soon.